Maybe it's time you move away from that beat up old Chevy that's just rusted over. Or maybe you're just making your first move into the world of pickup trucks. Well, we're here to help you find that perfect pickup for cheap. And as you probably know if you've been scouring the internet, truck prices have been going through the roof recently. But with our help here at Ideal, you can find that right truck for under 10,000 bucks. You don't believe me? Well, keep watching. And buckle up, because I'm gonna tell you why you should buy these seven. Yes, seven pickup trucks for less than 10,000 bucks. Let's go. So let's start off this list right with a powerful American pickup for the working man. And the first generation Ford F-250 Super Duty checks all the boxes. Anything bearing that Super Duty name is guaranteed to be an absolute workhorse that can haul the entire construction site. And the 2007 F-250 is the one that we'd recommend. You see, this Bald Eagle has a base 300 horsepower 5.4 liter V8 engine that's capable of towing up to 12,500 pounds. And if that's not enough for you, even more powerful engines are available. And the reason that we here at Ideal would recommend a later built first gen F-250 Super Duty is that in 2005, the Ford Super Duty trucks received exterior and interior upgrades that I think make them look a lot more contemporary. And they got a locking tailgate to store your Ideal swag which you can snag up here. Now, the F-250 comes in three different trims. You got the XL, which is strictly a work truck. And then you got the XLT with a cloth upholster bench seat, or the Lariat, if you want some fine leather to sit on. Mmm, leather. Now, one of the downsides with the F-250 is that it's not very maneuverable. So if you live in the city, it might not be the perfect truck. Plus, it can also be a little bit loud. And yes, the fuel economy is, eh, it's pretty awful, let's be real. But hey, this truck is a great buy at this price point, like this one in the XL trim that we found on Auto Tempest with just 105,000 miles on it for under 10 grand. But maybe you live in the city or you just want a truck for daily driving and you don't need to haul huge loads day in and day out. Well, this next truck, though not as strong as a Super Duty, is <laughs> definitely a blast to drive. All right, all right, all right. And I understand that pickup purists out there are shouting at your screen right now. The Honda Ridgeline is not a real pickup. And if you're one of those people, well, you can totally skip this part of the video. But if you do and you're enjoying the video so far, please hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm because, well, the Honda Ridgeline, yes, is just about the only unibody pickup on the market. And that's a pretty bold move by Honda back in the mid 2000s because that means that the body is manufactured as one whole structure rather than several pieces on a frame like most other pickup trucks. So truck enthusiasts say that the Ridgeline is more of a car with a bed rather than an actual pickup. And while yes, it's probably not the perfect rig for you if you're trying to haul massive amounts of raw material, it's reliable. It's a Honda after all. And I bet your Honda lawnmower still runs. Plus it's very spacious on the inside and it drives more like a crossover SUV than a bulky pickup. So this is the ideal truck if you're looking for a commuter, but it also has some off-road prowess if you need to take your dirt bike out to the mountains. And for under 10,000 bucks, you can get an early gen one like this 2007 Honda Ridgeline RTL, and plus it's barely broken in with under 100,000 miles for less than 10 grand. And yes, maybe hardcore truck guys are gonna make fun of you, but they make fun of me all the time too, so who cares? <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm back for the next truck. Don't play games with me. Now, Chevy Colorados have been a dominant force in the compact pickup segment for years. And well, that's because it's the perfect truck for anyone that needs modest towing capacity, but also lives in the city and needs to navigate through the tight streets and fit into smaller parking spots. And all the way back in the mid 2000s, the Colorado came in three different cab sizes and with a bunch of different engine options. And you could get it made into a four speed automatic or five speed manual. And you could also bump it up to a five cylinder. But believe it or not, that five cylinder actually feels slower than the four cylinder. And it also has some really weird vibration due to the odd cylinder count. So definitely a hard pass. But then there's also the V8 option, like the 5.3 liter that was pulled out of this truck, the Silverado 1500. But when you mate that to a four speed automatic, it really just leads to less gas mileage than the full size 1500 with the six speed automatic. So although it's gonna be slow, I would stick with the base engine if you're getting a Colorado. 
And the best part about the Colorado is not the horsepower, but it can handle like a sports car. You see, this ZQ8 sport tuned suspension really makes this thing carve up your city streets. And if you're going off road, upgrade to the Z71 package and tear it up in the mud. The Colorado, it's fun to drive and pretty handy to get around in. And there's pretty much a version for everyone's needs. I mean, just check out this 2012 Colorado with under 80,000 miles on it for under 10K. That is straight up a bargain and a half. Now we know Dodge does dodgy things from time to time, but the 2006 Dodge Dakota, it's a mid-sized truck with a full-size personality. In fact, I'm not even sure it would be considered mid-size because in 2006, it was the largest truck in its class and its 7,150 pound towing capacity put it on par with the big boys in the full-size class. And it comes in three different trim levels. You got the SL, you got the SLT and the Laramie. Plus the base engine is a 3.7 liter V6 that cranks out a healthy 210 horsepower. But this is where things stop being kind of normal and start to get really interesting because you can upgrade to a 4.7 liter V8 in any of those three trims. And let me tell you, the V8 is the way to go with the Dakota. The V6, because it's such a big mid-sized truck, feels a little bit light for the body weight and really doesn't have much of an advantage over the V8 in terms of fuel economy. Now, we found this 06 Dodge Dakota SLT for under 8,000 bucks with a little over 100,000 miles on it. I mean, who doesn't love a cheap V8 truck? I know I wouldn't kick it out of the garage. Now, the Tacoma was originally considered a compact truck in its first generation, but the second generation came out in 2007 and it got a little bit bigger and a little bit better. And the 08 model only improved on that. It's built on the same underpinnings as this rig, the Toyota 4Runner. So you know that this truck is versatile enough to take you through the city streets and to haul whatever payload you gotta pack in the bed. Plus you get three different cab sizes. You got the regular, the access cab, and our favorite, the double cab. And you choose which one, depending on how much interior space you really need. Plus you got the base engine with that 2.7 liter four banger. You're getting 25 miles per gallon on the highway, which is pretty ridiculous. So if the Tacoma is calling your name, here's one for under 7,000 bucks with under 70,000 miles on it. And this thing is going to run forever. In the other corner is another Japanese truck that sacrifices really nothing in terms of power and acceleration. The name Titan, just think about that name for a second. Well, yeah, that name just kind of tells you all you need to know about this 2008 Nissan. It's big, it's powerful, and it dominates its class. This was Nissan's first real attempt at building a full-size pickup. And whether or not it was beginner's luck, they built an absolute winner. Hidden under the hood of this massive Japanese dragon is a 5.6 liter V8 bursting with 317 horsepower. Its steering is razor sharp. Its acceleration is definitely competitive. This is a fun to drive pickup in a segment where that's almost unheard of. And I think that this one has your name all over it. You could have this 08 Nissan Titan XE King Cab. And with that kind of quality at such a low price, I bet American truck builders are biting their fingernails. But hold the phone because America said, we're not done quite yet. Now, don't get it twisted. The Ford Ranger isn't anything close to an F450, not at all. In fact, it's difficult to even think that they're made by the same company. But the Ranger, it's the oldest pickup truck on the market. And yes, it's not gonna tow unbelievable loads. Heck, it's not even gonna put the fear of God in the poor sap in the lane next to you. But what the Ranger does have going for it is versatility, affordability, and fuel economy. Because really, this truck is just something that you daily drive and you won't have to fill it up after every commute. Plus it comes with a five-speed manual or a five-speed automatic. And here's a 2010 Ranger XL with a little over 80,000 miles on it for 9,500 bucks. And it's a great buy if you want a casual pickup. But next up we have the <laughs> honorable mention. And the reason that it's the honorable mention is that this is a list about trucks and well, you'll see. Okay, so I guess technically the Subaru Baja has a truck bed on it. But let's be honest, this isn't a truck at all. It's more like an Impreza Outback with the back chopped off. But if you want a little tiny bed to put your mountain bike in, and with that you wanted some awesome driving dynamics, 
An 05 Baja is a great purchase. It's good for off-roading, it's peppy, and it's fun to drive. And it's a Subaru, so you know it's gonna be fairly reliable. And we found this one with under 100,000 miles on it for under 10 grand. And I gotta say that is the ideal deal for a sporty pseudo pickup. So there you got it, seven greatest pickups for under 10K and one honorable mention. If you know of any other great pickups for under 10K, let us know down below. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell and hit that thumbs up extra hard if you enjoyed the video. My name is Brad Danger, this is Ideal, and keep living the ideal lifestyle.